Hello, I'm going to go over the isotope worksheet with you. And what this is, is showing you that there's different forms of elements that are more radioactive and then what happens here. So in this image, it shows a uranium atom and it's going to go through a radioactive decay. And that's what we've been talking about with Chernobyl. When it does that, We've got a small alpha particle, which is like a helium nucleus that comes out of this reaction. And since you lost some mass, you get a different element also, in this case, thorium that comes out. That's radioactive decay. Um, with isotopes, isotopes are elements like chromium here that have extra neutrons and that's what makes them radioactive. So chromium 58 is your normal one, and then chromium 63 has extra neutrons making it radioactive. And we're just gonna count up numbers here and get used to how many protons, neutrons, and electrons there are based on this number, okay? And you'll see that that's what this, these charts are. It's just comparing what are called isotopes of one element with the same element. So let's start off with chromium, chromium 58. You're gonna need a periodic table, so I've included one, but you can use really any periodic table. And we need to find chromium first. Um, and I don't know offhand where chromium is. Looks like it's right here at 24. Okay, so this is how we read it. 24 is the atomic number of chromium. It's also the number of protons. So, number of protons for chromium, 24. Now, chromium is always 24, no matter what, as far as protons go. So, chromium 58, chromium 63, they always have 24 protons. That's gonna be the same for all of them. They always are gonna have the same number of protons. The number of electrons matches the number of protons, so in this case it's 24. And this one is also going to have 24 electrons. It's the neutrons, this middle one, that's going to change. So to figure out how many neutrons there are, I have to take this number, 58, that's the mass, and that's protons plus neutrons. So I know that 24 protons plus some number of neutrons equals 58, okay? So I've got 24 plus n equals 58. Using my calculator, 58 minus 24 equals 34 neutrons. Now chromium 63 is a little different. I still have 24 protons, but instead of 58, I'm gonna have a mass of 63. So again, I take my calculator, 63 minus the 24 protons, and that's 39 neutrons. Okay. And you're gonna do that same thing for all these other ones. I think I'll do one more quick one with you, the carbon, carbon 12 and carbon 16. I find carbon up here on the periodic table and it has an atomic number of six, which means there are six protons. Carbon 12, carbon 16, they always have six protons because it's carbon. Electrons match the protons. Now I have to figure out how many neutrons. So remember, protons plus neutrons is going to equal my mass number. So 6 plus n equals 12. Well, I know that 6 plus 6 equals 12. Don't even need to do the math on that. So I put 6. Carbon 16 has a higher mass number. So 6 protons plus some neutrons equals... 16. Again, I can do the math in my head. Uh, there are 10 neutrons because 10 plus 6 equals 16. 
so 10 neutrons. So do that for the rest of these down here, and that'll get us thinking about different types of elements that are radioactive. Thank you very much.